Photographs deconstructed with Simon Q. Walden. Every now and then I like to create these bonkers montages of uh, many, many girls in one space, uh, usually created with just one model, sometimes with two, as we've got here with Leah and Harriet. I don't know why I like to do this because actually the trauma of putting it together in Photoshop is huge. It's so time consuming. But instead of setting up a shot like this, uh, of course, obviously you'd want a tripod mount for obvious reasons. So, you, so you, there's, there should be no alignment problems. But in order to make sure there are no alignment problems, you must pre-focus. Your focus must not change during the shoot. And that's uh, a mistake I've seen quite a few times in this kind of montage stuff where you can clearly see there has been a shift in focus. And when your focus shifts, actually it slightly misaligns everything. So uh, manual focus, obviously you can't change the zoom, you can't change the exposures or anything, that's all gotta be quite consistent. You also need to plan out in your mind the order in which you're gonna put these elements together. And one of the hardest parts, I tend to improvise these. So one of the hardest parts is keeping in mind as they work through the different positions, exactly what positions and poses and stories you're going on in each separate location. So for example, in this sequence, uh, there are only a limited number of outfits. And I wanted to keep the outfits at different parts of the setting. Obviously you can't put two outfits the same next to each other or it's a bit of a giveaway. So in each part, I've got to think, I've got to, as I'm mapping it out and as we're going through, so I think, right, okay, we'll bring you forward and you're gonna be talking to the person that we're gonna put in later and then when we've had the costume change, we've got to remember, right, we needed a person in here to be talking to the person that we shot earlier. And now that's not just at the one level though, because we also have to do that for the levels through, the layers through the image from front to back. And also, you're trying to make sure everything is positioned so that nobody gets obscured by all the different poses. Now, to a certain extent, you can flip backwards and forwards through your previous images, a bit like sort of onion skin on an animation, uh, and that will help. Um, uh, do you know what I think I ought to do, and I never do, is I ought to just have a little quick scribble on a sheet of paper and doodle all the bits in as it all comes together. Uh, and if that was the one piece of advice I'd give to myself, that would be it. But either way, um, you know, you, you, you need to have a sense of plan before you start. You'll tweak the plan as you go along as you realise actually you can't quite fit all the bits in together. And as it's developing, you have to remember all that somehow or another so that you can position all of the elements correctly at the end. To find out more, go to filmphotoacademy.com. Subscribe now for regular updates.